Hello, YouTube. I have a 1995 Nissan D21. And it's got a V6 3.0 in it. And I've seen a few websites with some things. Uh, wires going wrong. Not starting. Stop start things. There's one guy out there that tells you to to take this here <laughs> and clean it out. Uh, if you can look at this, you can't you can't clean that out. I called the Nissan dealer, and also right here. There's a crack in the wire. These come apart. Now the other side, I cleaned these out. And the problem with Nissan is you can't get these plastic joints anymore. And if there's someone that does know how to find them, by all means, hit like and subscribe and share. Anyway, this piece here is absolutely necessary. It goes on with your positive. Now, as you can see, this one's rusted out. I did go in there, and you can't clean that out. There's just no way you're going to clean that out. So I went to looking around to find one, and lo and behold, I found a whole set, all set, brand new. Now you can buy these separately, or they're like 16 bucks, something like that. But this booger, that's the heart that you absolutely have to have. And I want to tell you guys something. They want the VIN number at the uh, Nissan house. And whenever I called there and gave them the VIN number, uh, this is an old school. This is old school. 1995. Yes, it's been wrecked, but it's my son's baby. Anyway, I gave them the VIN number to a 1995 D21. Gave them, they wanted the last eight numbers, so I gave them to them. And the man came back and said, it comes back to a 2004 Pathfinder. I told them, no way. My son's owned this truck since it was just a couple years old. It's not a Pathfinder. The paperwork's correct. It's never been stolen. I know the history, everything. He said, no, I'm saying the VIN number associates with the 2004. So that tells me, people, that they go and if you give them the number, the year of your vehicle, they take forever to tell you, oh, no, we don't have your part. Well, if you give them your VIN number, there's a great possibility that what they do is they uh, make them and sell them for so many years, and then they turn around, and in that year that you need it, they'll say they don't have it, and in reality, they really do have it, but it's for uh, a vehicle. If this is a 95, and you can get it for 2004 Pathfinder, that's a lot of years that they didn't make it. So they do remake things. I tell people all the time, history repeats itself. It's that way with the parts too. So I will tell you that the VIN number to this 95 Nissan, uh, it's an XE. XE. Yeah. It's an XE V6 factory. Uh, that it actually shows up. The parts will interchange with a 2004 Pathfinder. 
So please help me and hit like and subscribe. I also uh, took this uh, cable off because it was uh, it's still a little bit nasty, but I put it in some uh, baking soda water and let it sit there for a couple of days. I mean, and it's raining out here where I live, but look at all of the uh, junk come off of the cable. So uh, while you're waiting to get your part, hit me up. And uh, if you need this part, I'll tell you what, it's $55 plus tax. I will uh, hit, hit me up, like, and subscribe if you need the part. And I will send you the information, the link, so that you can buy the part. And I'm telling you, you can't buy this complete set anywhere except for one place. So... If you really, really need it, and it is all part of your ignition, uh, we have the problem of uh, crank no start. I mean, uh, no crank no start. Is that correct? Yes, believe it don't. No crank no start. No crank. Yeah, yeah, no crank power. no start. No power. And, and, and this here is what you need. If you don't, you might be next for that quail. And my son just said that if not... If not that, then in here next to the coil can be the, the, the only other problem. Right there. But here we go. Uh, don't be cheap on yourself. Uh, this time, instead of messing around with the cheap metal, he went ahead and bought these. Um brass it's going to stop all that corrosion if you get any rust on anything that's 90 percent of your problem unless you live in the very far west coast you can see by the exhaust it's got rust in it because we live in the midwest but anyway um this here this here's the pigtails that, that these will plug into. And uh, again, I unbagged them. I have everything, all the information. Again, this goes on your positive terminal. Some trucks have an extra fuse in here and it's supposed to be like a 15 amp fuse. But this one here doesn't have one. Don't know why, but it's factory. And uh, my son's the second owner besides the car lot. Any rate, I hope you enjoyed this. I have a lot of videos and I'm gonna start uploading. And uh, enjoy the channel. Make sure to hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. I'm getting notifications from YouTube that um, my channel is gaining, so every, t every hit helps, and I'll help you find your parts when you can't find them. Thank you, and have a good day. You're, have a blessed day. Have a safe day. Later.